Hi guys, my name is Gina Gemskull and welcome to a tour of the new architect homes that are available in Sims Free Play. These homes are available from around about the 7th of April 2018 and we have 12 different ones to choose from. I'm going to show you them all on a premium size lot but you can probably build some of them on a standard size lot for a cheaper price and also don't pay any attention to my prices down here because depending upon how many houses you have in your town they could be significantly cheaper than the prices that I have here but just like glancing through them some of them look like they could be pretty awesome. First house so this can be built on a standard size lot and we have oh this is interesting okay so we have different sort of themes on the fl each floor so the first floor is kind of just a standard kind of house I would say and we have that fireplace which I love which as we're going through obviously if you've watched any of these architect homes videos before we're looking for any furniture that is worth a lot of LP or SP or limited time items that we may not have um so maybe yeah just the fireplace on this floor possibly for me looks interesting and then let's go down we have a lot of haunted stuff down here Mm. I'm not sure, like the haunted stuff isn't really valuable, I don't think. Let's go up to, so we've got up to the next floor, and this is the ice, oh this is so cool, it's like the ice floor. So if you didn't get the ice furniture, which some people may, may not have got it, so definitely this will potentially be worth building for you if you didn't get any of the ice furniture, because there is a lot of stuff here. And then again, if you didn't get the gingerbread furniture, then, you know, this could be something good for you to build. Lots of gingerbread furniture here. And have we got another floor? Oh, we've got a, a balcony with two wedding arbors. I love these fountains. Love them so much. I really like this house. It's pretty cool. Lots of stuff. Yeah, people may want to build, like, that's, <laughs> look at that front. <laughs> probably do with some more windows on the house to be honest but it's got quite a lot of that furniture if you're interested in getting that furniture. House number two again can be built on a standard lot and we have a couple of floors here. Wow okay that looks pretty cool. Let's take a look at the first floor. We have the fire monkeys straight away at the front which I like the fire monkeys and these rugs as well are SP and this is the fancy dog kennel. Also a Scandinavian stereo there and a future car, which are very expensive, the future cars. This looks like it may be worth building actually. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. One of these fireplaces, love those fireplaces. They are worth a lot of SP, I think. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. Let's take a look in the basement. Lots of teen stuff there loads of lights everywhere we've got some ice furniture as well hmm I like this let's go up to the second floor and we've got some of these Arabian style doors I really like these doors and actually these are the Latin Villa windows as well I think so hmm this may be worth a build let's take a look on the next floor and again more of those doors and windows we've got a fish tank there some of the like the ironing stuff I might build this I quite like this it's pretty expensive for me to build it's like three and a half million but I quite like it I may build that here's the third house and this is the first one that is built on a premium size lot and oh we have a bit of a uh, Easter stuff going on there we have some of the fairy furniture that some people may not have unlocked not a ton of it but like little bits scattered throughout the house and what else maybe or oh, we have some of the new planters which hopefully everybody unlocked that was the most recent quest that we have had released into the game Let's go down into the basement. Oh, the basement is just over here at the front, which I feel like, okay, this must have been a DIY house, I feel like, because that's the DIY. Maybe it doesn't have to be, I suppose. It looks like the DIY home's basement, right? 
Well, maybe it wasn't. Uh, and then upstairs. Mm, have we got any? We've nothing. I mean, I suppose if you didn't get the spa stuff, possibly. But there's nothing crazy rare, I don't feel, really, in this house. Or anything worth major LPs or SPs. Here's the fourth house. And this is... Oh, this is a nice build. It is a standard sized house let's go ahead and we've got three floors was that yeah three floors and a basement as well so oh we have these stairs that i really love those stairs and these fountains as well i always went like i think they're like five sp for these fountains and I, to be honest i never really use them but i really like them i don't know why i don't use them because when i see them in a build i'm like oh yeah i really like those fountains i should make an effort to try and use them in a build we have this computer oh and a cuckoo clock We've got have lots of these new lights as well, which are amazing. This actually, this house is pretty cool. It's got these beds, I don't know what you call these, like the sun lounges that, I don't know what, I think you don't think you can get them anymore. I think they were limited, were available for a limited time. Got one of these fireplaces. Yeah, the more I look around this house, the more I'm thinking I may build this. This has got a Latin barbecue there oh let's go down oh loads of these oh, i love these rose gold lights loads of them down here little gym area cool oh i do like this house and then let's go up to the first floor so much not necessarily mess, but these um paintings are lp i'm pretty sure these pictures from the when we got the hair salon stuff. Another one of those computers. Let's go up again. We've got some of those villa uh, fans as well I spotted on that floor. I like this house. I think I'm going to build this house, to be honest. Oh, we have some of these. Can we get these now, these robe hangers? I feel like we can't get them. We have to build one of the houses to get them, do we? Correct me if I'm wrong down below in the comments. I'm sure you will. I like this house. I think I'm going to build that. Yeah, that's a definite that I am going to build. House number five. We have three floors and a basement. These houses are all really big. We have, I feel like this is a modified version of something we have in the game already, possibly. We've got a fire monkey statue there and we've got an expensive dog kennel. And then... Have we got anything else? A little bit of spa furniture there. Oh, we've got a Scandinavian telly there and a retro stereo that are both SP, I believe. Scandinavian table there as well. Hmm. Let's go down to the basement and, ooh, so much stuff. Let's go up to the second floor and what do we have? Nothing crazy. Maybe this study desk. Oh, and a record player here. That's all. We have a little cuckoo clock there. Let's go to the next floor, Wedding Arbor. And, hmm, this is a funny balcony area, <laughs> really, isn't it? But, yeah, I mean, there's a few things there. I mean, that rainbow sleeping bag is... I don't, I'm pretty sure you can't buy that for simoleons. And we have the fountain if you didn't win that. A few items, but nothing crazy, I don't think, really, in that house. Here's the sixth house. And this, oh, this is a skater house modified on a standard lot. Let's take a look. We've got three floors and a basement. This That seems to be kind of the theme for these houses. So what do we have? Nothing really... On the first floor, let's go down to the basement. And, oh, it's a very big basement. Oh, we got some Christmas stuff. <laughs> if you fancy getting some Christmas stuff. Nothing. Bit of spa stuff down here. Let's go up to the second floor. And, oh, this is a nice little bedroom. Oh, there's the Christmas playhouse. I love that little Christmas playhouse for toddlers. I think it's so cute. Look at it. It's adorable. Um, what else do we have? A few of these ice lamps. If you didn't get any ice lamps and you want some. Um, let's go up again. 
nothing. Mm, I mean, I don't think there's anything crazy rare in here or anything worth a ton of LPSP. Here's the seventh house and we are on a premium lot for this one. Let's take a little look. This is two floors. We have a big lion over at the front. Do we have some of these new plants? I like those pots. I think, yeah, I can see one of these uh, fireplaces. And then what else? Anything else? Thanksgiving table is still set up. Let's go out into the garden, first of all. Mm, nothing crazy rare out there particularly. And then upstairs, we've got the study desk there, or whatever it's called, a desk that is definitely not for simoleons. Uh, I mean, there's nothing, nothing super rare, I don't think, in this house, to be honest is the 8th house and this is a standard lot, it looks nice from the outside right? My kind of style I think, two floors, very white inside, oh I like what they've done here with the sink, I like that toilet actually, it looks quite good, I feel like I don't really like that toilet when I see it in the like in the uh, home store but actually it looks quite good in that bathroom and what else, wow huge kitchen with the urban counters. It is a nice style. Is there a lounge? There's no lounge downstairs. Let's go upstairs maybe. Oh yeah okay here we go. The lounge. Huge huge lounge area upstairs with those L sofas. And that telly is awesome. I love that telly. It's like a tiny little telly for <laughs> that huge room. I mean, it's quite nice, I suppose. I don't feel like there's anything really rare that I would need to build that house for, to be honest. House number nine, and this is a few floors. This is three, I think. Yeah, this is three floors, plus possibly a basement, did I say? Yeah, plus, oh, it's only a small basement. But it's still a basement. And this is what's down here. A bath, that's not for simoleons, is it? Let's have a little look at what we have inside. Mm, pretty standard kind of furniture, to be honest, maybe. We do have some of these pictures. Let's take a look upstairs. Is that the balcony? No, I thought that was the balcony, and they were like sleeping outside on the balcony. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness. But no, it's inside. Um, what do we have? The kitchen's up here. What's the kitchen not down? Is these flats maybe? What's the kitchen up here? I'm not entirely sure. Bit of spa stuff there. One of these desks. Hmm. Let's go up again. Thanksgiving table. Oh, I like the look of this. That looks cool. Nothing really rare. We do have a big bed. If you didn't get one of these. I can't remember what we got them in now, but where we got these huge big beds, was it with the villa or the chalet? I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, big bed there. I don't feel like that colour looks familiar to me, to be honest. Hmm, I don't know. And that is, yeah, that's the whole house. The tenth house, and this is a two-storey, standard size lot, but I think it's got a basement. I like the detail on the outside. Where's the front door actually? Oh, there it is. There's the front door. Okay, so we go in and let's go down to the basement. Ooh, okay, this wasn't what I was expecting. I like this basement. Oh, have some rose gold stuff. I love that rose gold stuff. And we have, oh, like a little cellar down here. That's cool. It's kind of like a little, oh, there's a bed and everything down here. Oh, I like this little cellar, the fire monkeys thing. Oh, that's nice. Okay, what else have we got in the house? Mm, one of these fireplaces, that's very popular this time on the Architect Homes, that fireplace, I think. Let's go up again, and we have another one of these desks. This pot here is worth maybe like 35 SP to buy. Else, do we have anything? I don't think so, particularly. 
another one of those rose gold things. I don't know, I quite like that to be honest. Maybe I'm getting more and more demanding on what I require and what what I think is really sells an architect homes to me. Like I, I feel like I want like a ton of SP stuff and a ton of LP things. I'm not happy with just one or two items anymore. The eleventh house is three floors plus. Hang on a second. We had this last time because I remember saying about the tent on the balcony. Or if it's not this one, it's, it was one very similar. It was the same one, right? This was definitely the same one. Check out the previous video. I'll put the playlist, the link to the playlist of all the architect homes down below. Check out the previous uh, video from the last architect homes. And I'm pretty sure, I'm sure I actually built it to be honest. Because I wanted to get the, what is this called? I can never think of what it's called. Like the transporter thing here. We've had this before. Yeah, because there's a get, yeah, because there's a fondue set there, and I love when houses have fondue sets. Well, there's this house. It's a standard sized lot house. We have had it before, but if you fancy building it, I don't think I will build another one. Although maybe I should build another one so I can get another transporter thing. And here is the last architect home, which is two floors. And has a campfire outside, which was the prize from the storytelling hobby, I think. It's a limited time, so you may not have unlocked that. Some of these, or one of these sleepers, some lounger things, whatever they're called. <laughs> How are you supposed to get into, can you actually get into the, you can't get into that. Oh, actually, yeah, you, it's just one room, you just can't get behind it here. One of these fireplaces? Definitely, that's the theme. Is this familiar as well to me, or, I don't know, I feel like they're recycling, oh, I like, I like those lamps and they're, LP or SP to get. Have we had this before as well? I don't know. Maybe we have. Maybe I've just looked at far too many uh, architect homes. I like how they've done this with the new. Maybe we, we couldn't have had it before because these uh, furniture, these seats are new from the, what, the quest that we've just had. I like how they've done that, running alongside the stairs. That's pretty cool. This is a huge room. Whoa, it's a bedroom. It's a strange room, actually. <laughs> it's got a bed, and then the wardrobe's running along there, and then it's like... Okay, fair enough. I quite like it, actually. Another huge bedroom here. The huge chandelier. Hmm, I'm not sure about this house. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. That completes a tour of all of the new architect homes in Sims Free Play. Let me know what you think of them. Will you be building any of them? I'm not sure. I think I said maybe like the third house, didn't I, that I would definitely be building. I'm going to go back and have another look at it when I finish recording just to check that it is something that I want to build. But... Yeah, I think my expectations of architect homes is rising and the build, not that I don't like the builds that we're getting, but I like, like I said, I want loads of LP items and loads of SP items and I don't feel like I'm particularly getting them at the moment, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I think I will build the third one actually, because that's the one that had, it had the windows and the doors or one of them had, oh no, the second one had the windows and the doors, which I liked. Well, let me know down below, are you going to be building any? Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and I will see you very soon for a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.